Hello everybody, and I'm Gabriel Gaming 5000K, and welcome to Let's Play Infamous Second Son Part One. Let's get ready, folks. This is the video game that came out in 2014. I was in high school when this game came out, so let's do it. Seven years ago, a small group of humans called Conduits emerged. Each with the ability to manipulate and even weaponize a unique form of matter. The Department of Uni Unified Protection was formed to hunt down and effectively detain all conjurics be classified as bioterrorists to protect the population. It is now believed that all bioterrorists have been successfully captured and locked away. As a result, the Department of United Unified Protection is being pat phased out, with the military assuming oversight of all imprisoned bioterrorists. Today, the first military transport of bioterrorists leaves the DUP detention facility at Curtin K Station, headed for an army prison in the upstate Washington. Ugh. It will never arrive. Okay, that was the opening of this game. Uh, yeah, I can see some controls here. I'm going to read the controls first for now, folks. The square button is melee, X button, jump, circle, dash, triangle, karmic actions, it's RB, heavy attack, right trigger, main attack, left trigger, zoom, Oh, let's see here. R L B special power. Left stick, you move. Right stick, you have to turn. So yeah. Let's see here. Frame rate unlimited. I don't want my frames dropping. That's too risky. But let's finish this right now. Hold wireless controller sideways. Yeah, there's our main hero. His name is uh, Delson Rowe, the one with the beanie. Yeah, you gotta rattle spray paint can by shaking the, the controller. This. Oh, look what... Look what Delson's gonna do. He's gonna vandalize his brother. His brother's billboard. But press R2 to spray. Whoa, look at all that white paint! Oh my god! This is so funny! Oh my god. He's gonna get in big trouble. Oh no. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> Look at that mouth. <laughs> and now the teeth and the donuts. <gasps> and those hands. And the eyebrows. <laughs> this is so hilarious. This also kind of reminded me of Bully when Jimmy has to spray paint all over the wall. Goddamn criminal mastermind. Hmm. 
out there and that's Betty it's just me Betty Delson. would you put the stapler down seriously what are you doing here why aren't you at the big to do at the longhouse um, uh, yeah I just didn't feel all that a comish tonight but you look amazing it looks great on you seriously what were you doing up on the roof hmm nothing just were you up to mischief I know you're in there, so just come on out, or I'll call Betty and she'll be here in five minutes with the key. You're up to mischief. Okay, well, come on, seriously, what are you going to do here? Uh, well, I have no choice. He's a cop. I have to be back here in five minutes, and if you're still here... <sighs> Thanks, Betty. This is the last, last time. time. Well, I have to go back to my office. Apparently, I'm getting a phone call. believe he doesn't have anything better to do find the back door out of the fish cannery okay folks we're going to be playing as our main hero delson Rowe. he's well he's actually the anti-hero to be exact and by the way delson Rowe is voiced by troy baker who does the voice of joel miller from the last of us and he's also abel nightgrove from trinity blood charles from binary domain snow Villiers from final fantasy 13 oh, freedom and he voices Peg and Ming from Far Cry 4 and Far Cry 6. Yes, that's true. Troy Baker has done a lot of Marvel characters. It's time to find a safe way down off the fish cannery roof. And Troy Baker has done a lot of Marvel characters. That includes Hawkeye, Deadpool, Shocker, Venom. Let's see here. Who else did Troy Baker do? He did Loki from the Avengers. Time to move along on the beach to the longhouse. And before I proceed... Troy Baker has done, let's see here, he has done one of my favorite characters from DC, including Batman, the Joker, let's see, who else did Troy Baker has done? Let's see, come on, think, think. He did Sinestro. And he does a lot of DC characters. And he voices a lot of cartoon characters that includes Van Kleist from Generator X and Biowolf from Generator X. That's for sure. Yeah. Of course, Troy Baker also did Book of the Whip from Bioshock Infinite. That's for sure. He's done a lot of anime. Uh, gold crap. <laughs> yeah, Troy Baker also did Espio the Chameleon from Sonic Generations. And, and he's also the voice of Jinkaria from Bleach. Snetso v. Britannia from Code Geass. And Kagura from Kikaishi. And Kanji Tatsunami from Persona 4 and Vincent Brooks from Catherine. He needs a lot of Call of Duty characters. There. <laughs> yeah, we're halfway there, folks. Yes, that's true. Troy Baker has done Excalibur from Soul Eater. He voices Frank Archer from Full Metal Alchemist and Greeling from Brotherhood. Let's see here. Genosuke Koga from Best Lisks. Nagi Springfield from the anime Negima. Yep. He's also Jake Mueller from Resident Evil 6. Oh, was I want to tag that guy. Okay. That's cool. Come on, jump. Here we go. Come on, keep moving. Shoot. Shoot. Shoot, get out of here. Yeah, get out of here, stupid seagulls. Whoa. That was close. I know. This, this takes place in Washington, D.C. Yep. Don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. <laughs> don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. Oh my god, I really love his voice. And yes, Troy Baker also did James Sutherland from uh, Silent Hill 2 HD Collection. And the plan is working perfectly. And the plan is working perfectly. Okay, you gotta... Open door by pressing the touchpad. Hey man, I've been looking 
like forever for you. We should probably just get inside. Do you have any idea how embarrassing it is for me to keep arresting my own brother over and over and over again? Maybe you should stop arresting your brother over and over and you over again. You think this again. is a joke? No. <laughs> so you want to leave your mark on the world, huh? You think this would make our parents proud? Misdemeanor vandalism? Listen, there's a lot of serious <laughs> shit going on. And while I'm out there actually trying to assert my talent, you're trying to assert your talent. I mean, what the Why hell are you always even do talking this, about? Reggie? Why don't you just let me be who I am? <laughs> I'm going after those two. You stay back. That thing's gonna blow. Stay away from the exploding thing. Got it. Search the crush for survivors. Oh, this cutscene was so hilarious. When Reggie, the older brother of Delson Rowe, was arguing with him about the vandalism. So anyway, Reggie Rowe Reggie. is voiced by Travis Willingham, who also voices Knuckles from Sonic Generations. Until 2017. We gotta lift up the wreckage. And there we have a conduit. Holy shit, dude. Oh, thanks, man. I thought I was gonna die. Hey, you alright? Oh, oh. Hey, oh. let him go! Just let him go and keep your hands where I can see him. I don't wanna hurt nobody. I just wanna get going before she gets here. I said let him go or I will shoot you. Press. No. I said I don't wanna hurt nobody. And that conduit was named Hank. Now we got ourselves a superpower. Rich. Gotta find Reggie. And yes, Travis Willingham has done a lot of characters in a video game. That includes the large rattler from The Last of Us Part 2. Oh wow! We got firepower! Oh my god, that's a lot of smoke! Flames! What's happening to me? God, no! <laughs> Whoa! Stop it, stop it, stop it! He's out of control! What's going on? Oh my god. Oh my god. Make it stop! Reds! Reg, I really need you! Good lord. Now we got ourselves a power called smoke. I gotta get through here. Press the circle button to smoke dash through the fallen trees. Yes, Travis Willingham has done the, done real well as the voice of Colonel Roy Mustang from Full Metal Alchemist. Relius Clover from Blaze Blue. And he's also Love Aizawa from Bleach. and Zetsu and Jugo from Naruto Shippuden. Yep. And he's also Andrea Starleton from Code Geass. Yes, Travis Willingham does the voice of Thor from the Avengers. And he's also the Hulk from Marvel Superhero Squad. And he does a lot of Marvel characters and DC characters. But right now, let's finish this. Here we go. Oh, Lord. Those trees are literally fallen. <laughs> Oh my god. No! Reggie! Reggie's in trouble. Reg, you okay? Nelson, what was that? I gotta get that thing off you. You just... I gotta get you out! Okay, okay, just... Just help me push! We're gonna press the touchpad to move car. Like... Press and hold the touchpad button with both thumbs. Like this. No, no, no! I can't stop it, man. I can't stop it. Reggie, I can't okay. stop it's it, okay. man. It's okay. You're okay. Just breathe. Breathe. You're right. You're right. 
I'm one of them, man. I'm one of them. No. No. You were my brother. All right? You were my brother. Okay. This thing with you is gonna pass. I promise we'll fix it. All right? You with me? You with me? Okay. Okay. Gotta get out there. There is a bot, so we gotta stop him before he hits the rest of the tribe. All right? Okay. I need you. I need you right now. Okay. All right? It's time to follow Reggie to the fish cannery right now. Just promise me you won't use any of those tricks, okay? I wouldn't have been able to even get to you back there if I hadn't. Just promise me you won't do that. Hey, hey. Just, I don't want you to think what's happened is, is a good thing, okay? Because it's not. No, I agree with Reggie. find out we gotta go through the gate I mean holy shit who burned the latch seriously time to smoke dash through the gate to the fish cannery by pressing the circle a yep Wait, Delson no, is a bioterrorist fine go control the mobs I'm coming back with help see if Betty's in there with the bioterrorist and be careful those freaks are capable of. I would agree with Delson. Those freaks. I actually would agree with Reggie Delson. It's time to find a way into the fish cannery. Okay. I gotta do something. Betty needs me. Yep. Oh wow! You can go through air vents by pressing the circle button like this. Yeah, it's so Vince. friggin' cool. Good to know. Whoosh. Not good. Not good. Wow. Ooh. That should have hurt. Whoa. Why is there blood all over the ground all over Betty, the floor? Where are you, Betty? Alright, we're in the fish factory, folks. We gotta find Betty. Mm hmm. Oh. Okay. Well, look. Where are you? Is that is that an otter? Safety first. Cover your hair. Wear protective gloves. Watch for slippery floor. <laughs> oh, he looks like a Hanna Barbera cartoon. <laughs> okay, folks. We still gotta find Betty. But can't go through there. You can go through the fence. That's friggin' awesome. Where are you, Betty? Seriously. Oh, let's go through there. A chain! Okay, this is our main weapon. Press square to hit the timbers with your chain. Yeah, Timber! Spoil, spoil the surprise. Wow! Almost there, Betty. You gotta get out of here, lady. Stay away from I'm me. trying to help Don't you, lady. Stay away from me. Stop! Ah. I was just trying to create a diversion. I didn't know anybody was in you here. You did this to me. You're a conduit? Uh. Betty, I'll explain later, but you gotta get out of here now. Good, I'm gone. Not until you fix this first. I spend most of my life behind bars. It's easy enough to bust out. You just gotta wait for that golden opportunity. When I got my powers, hell, I was unstoppable. Until the DUP caught up with me. Yeah, they got a special hole they like to toss folks like me in. Figured out a way to bind us all up so we couldn't use our powers. 
That also meant they had to feed us, wash us, even wipe our goddamn asses. That's no way for a man to live. There's no way. They had this red-headed bitch there, really into needles and scalpels. She called what she did to me tests. But if you do enough time, you can learn a few tricks. You just gotta be patient. Sooner or later, they'll screw up. They always do. You maybe see something or you hear something, learn things you weren't supposed to know. So when that bitch put the three of us in that wagon, I knew what was coming. A golden opportunity. I saw you. Poking around inside my head. It was me, I thought that was you. You saw it, right? That DUP prison. If she catches you, that's where you're going. Wait, wait, wait! Wow, that red haired lady that Hank was talking about, I don't know her name, but she's the main villain. We're gonna catch up Hank. Catch Hank. Little button. Uh oh. I'm warning you, kid. Back off! I'm warning you, kid. Back off! going anywhere until you fix this! <laughs> I don't know what happened, but you better be ready to disappear. You got yourselves a boss Why? fight. You're a He's... conduit now, kid. A bioterrorist. He's going to shoot fireball at you. Defeat Hank and find out what's happening to you. If I gotta go through you. We're going to have to kick his ass. Ow! That hurts, Tank. Anywhere until you fix this. This ain't something that can be fixed. <laughs> then... At least show me how to control it. Ain't got time. He just countered me. You face coming, and she knows I'm on to her plan. Well, he kind of reminds me of the Human Torch from the Fantastic Four. Oh my God! Yeah. When the screen turns red, you take damage. If it goes all the way to white, you're toast. Okay, go through the fence and give him a butt kicking. This fire's only gonna buy two, three minutes diversion top. Oh, he just broke those doors down? Holy crap! Hey, yeah, well, whoever's coming is coming for you, man, not me. You've been seen, son. Folks here know about you. And she's got a way of making people. Good luck, kid. Oh, hell no. No way I'm gonna die in a fish guttery. The subtitles don't even look right. But it's fine. <laughs> we gotta catch we gotta have to catch up with Hank before he can escape. I mean, where's that asshole? Seriously, where is he? Come on. Come on, man, where are you? Hmm. Seriously? Oh, come on. Hurry up. Gotta follow the smoke trails. Right? Uh, no. <laughs> Seriously, where exactly are you, man? Come on. It's probably over there, right? Come on, Hank. Where exactly are you? Can't be messing around right now. Can't go through. That doesn't even make any sense. Come on. How about go through there? Yep. No. You can jump through walls? 
Oh lord, I did not know you could do that. But hey, cool. Why are there so many fish parts all over the place? There's a lot of salmon. Whoa. You know this condor kind of reminds me of those contractors from the anime Darker Than Black. On, where are you? Seriously, where the hell are you, man? Hmm. Darn it! I'm getting annoyed. You know what? Probably might try to try one more time. If things aren't going very well, at least let me know in the comments. Can you actually go back? No, you can't. I'm getting impatient here. You can also wall jump. That's cool. You can't open through that door. Come on, hurry up! Oh, go over there, right. No. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta increase the brightness first. There we go. Come on, Delson. Get up there. Why is Hank so damn fast? That's so annoying! Arrgh. The love of God, Delson! Hurry up! Oh! I get it. We gotta open the door. Listen, just let me go. Just let me walk away. Nobody's ever gotta know about any of this. Wait a minute! Stop! Let's talk about this! Concrete. Oh, Henry. I am so very disappointed in you. Well... That's Brooke Augustine. We got him, right? I, uh... flushed that mean old conduit for you. Good job, everybody. Especially you, guys. Bioterrorist. <laughs> Henry Daughtry. I was a bioterrorist. Conduit. It's a word used by traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor, are you? I, uh, I try not to be. <laughs> you seem nervous. No, I'm not nervous. It's been my experience. There are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards, or they have something to hide. Well, you know, I also get... Nervous around pretty girls. <laughs> in there with that bioterrorist for some time. Did he share anything with you? Um, share. Did he say anything to you? Share any of his ramblings about conspiracies? Oh, um, no, he didn't. He didn't share anything. That's good to hear. You see, we are engaged in a life and death war with these bioterrorists, and it's my job to do whatever it takes to ensure that we win that war. 
What? That's kind of funny because aren't you a bioterrorist too? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I am. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And it's clear now that you are not a coward, which means there's something that you are not telling me. What are, you, what are you doing? You can't do this, you crazy! I've got rights! And I have the legal authority to suspend those rights whenever I feel it's necessary. Like now, for instance, I'll ask again. What happened in there? And I'll tell you again. Oh, good lord. I'm told that hurts. Ow. Really? Still nothing. Well, unless you decide that you do have something to tell me, I'll go chat with that nice old lady. But you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle bones. And if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one, and the next, until I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here? Okay. There are two options. If you press L2, you turn yourself in. R2, sacrifice the tribes. If you sacrifice the tribe, you you get an evil karma. If you turn yourself in, you will get you'll get good karma. So let's read this one first. By pressing out, holding L2. Risking your freedom to protect Betty is the first step to becoming a hero. Let's sacrifice the tribe. Let's read it. Putting the others in danger to save yourself is the first step to becoming infamous. Well, I'm going to do good karma first. Let's confirm for now. I'm a conduit. What? I said I'm a conduit, all right? I caught it a second ago from from that guy. Oh, you caught it. Very funny. Ah! God! Tell him. So Betty. Maybe you can give me a straight answer. Oh. Yeah, I'm told that hurts. Good lord. New karma level. Protector. You have taken your first step to becoming a hero. Alright. Becoming a hero, folks. Now, the blue one is... You're a hero. Red one means you're evil. Let's continue. Yes, Augustine's power is concrete. Oh wow, why does he not have his vest on? You are on the path to becoming a hero. Good actions will increase your level, but evil actions will reverse your course. This is the karma level, folks. Oh, man. Looks like we're in a hospital wing, folks. What's going on here? Brooke Augustine. I hate her. You know what she just did to Betty? She used that, her concrete power on those bones. She does it to victims. Oh, look, pizza. Parker's Pizza Paradise. <laughs> I'm gonna find Betty right now. Oh my God. What the hell happened? 
Look what happened to Nick. He got covered in concrete. Jeez. That's a lot of concrete, folks. And also, that's a lot of pizzas. And look. Salmon Bay Baseball. Jersey jackets. Go, go, go. And there's trophies. A lot of people. Look at all those concrete parts. It's on every bones. There's those x-ray pictures. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> and no one could stop her? No. Nobody could stop her, Delson. Jeez, man. What the heck? Oh, wow. That... Is that woman injured, too? Jesus. My God. Betty. Nelson, dear, you're awake. So did Augustine do this to you? Yeah, how did you think I was gonna rat you out to that ornery trot? Besides, at the time, it seemed like the pumpkins were living your legs pierced. So that means everyone here... We're a comish. We protect our own. No one here blames you for what happened. Yeah. Neither should you. Hey. Can't be ashamed for what you are. Can't help it. You were born that way. All that matters is... I'm one of them now. You are not one of those uh, beady-eyed bio-terrorists. Yeah, I can hear my brother. You're a good boy. Just happen to have smoke coming out of your fingers. The only reason why we're in this is smoke coming out of my fingers. Hey. Don't go down that road. If you're gonna be such a buzzkill, I'm gonna have to go back to sleep. Because I need my rest. So that I can get better and get on my feet again. And I can rest now, but you're awake. You know what you worry. I'm gonna be fine. Really? Fast healing seems to be a part of your new, uh, thing. Uh, speaking of which, uh, the craziness with the hands, is that gone? Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah. There's no smoking in the longhouse, remember? Right. <laughs> and I wouldn't want to get in the way of anyone's recovery. Recovery? Hey, Delson, these, these people aren't getting any better. They're dying, man. You don't know. But the doctors who came through here when you were out, they do. And they said that... They said the only way those shards are coming out is the exact same way they went in. What? But that... that was Augustine and her concrete power. Yeah. And screw it, man. Looks like you and me are going to Seattle and we're gonna go get her. Whoa, 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 wait. What? You think you're just gonna charm her into coming back here with you? Come on, man, I know you took a bump to the head, but you two didn't exactly hit it off last time you were together. Reggie, I did this, and I gotta fix it. No, damn it, Delson, you just got back on your feet. Look, I know you went out, but the doctors have already said the only, the only way it's getting out is with the same power, I get it. Which means... We don't actually need Augustine. We just need her power. <laughs> okay, now you've lost me. No, 
I'm a goddamn power sponge, remember? If I got smoke, why can't I get concrete? <laughs> yeah, but what, what if smoke was just a fluke, huh? Think about it, you'd have to go through, a, what, a thousand DUP guys just to get to one? Yeah, probably something like that. I'll explain in the truck. What truck? I don't have a truck, I... That's my truck. Alright, I got this whole thing figured out, okay? We, we hit the town. Wow. Reggie just came up to the hospital and talked to Delson. I mean, wow. So that's why they went to the truck this time. But anyway, let's continue. Here we go. We load up at the All You Can Leech Conduit Power Buffet. We maybe swing by the Space Needle. Always wanted to see it. And then we're back home to save some lives. You do realize when we hit the town, there's a fair chance the town's gonna, you know, hit back. What does that even mean? It means that Seattle has half a million people that aren't exactly thrilled about the bioterrorists that are already there. You think they're going to welcome you? No, but I'm going to be different, okay? Oh, I'm okay. not there doing what they do. I'm there to save lives. I'm going to be like Superman. I'll be yeah. healing the sick. The <laughs> Superman. Wake up. Did Delson just say Superman? He's... He says he's going to be saving lives like Superman does. Yet, isn't Superman one of the DC comic characters that he mentioned? I mean, wow, he really did. Well, let's continue. Here we go. Look, don't worry, you all right? We're going to fix this thing. I'm going to find you a cure. A cure? Shooting smoke out of your fingertips isn't exactly normal, man. Just because it's not normal doesn't mean that it needs a cure, okay? Van Gogh wasn't normal. Gandhi wasn't normal. Yeah, but people weren't <coughs> scared of Gandhi, all right? People are afraid of bioterrorists. They're free. Gandhi. That's pre-programmed bull... Shit. Great. Huh. Neon lights. Looks like we're walking the rest of the way. <laughs> Walk... What? Yeah. Where are you going? Hey. Damn it. Holy crap, would you look at this? Uh, look, you know, if you're having second thoughts, I completely... Are you kidding me? This is amazing. This is destruction. This is self-defense, man. The roadblock was set up to attack them. Yeah, because they're bioterrorists. Well, it didn't stop them, and it's not going to stop this bad boy either. All right, folks. We're going to wrap this up for now. Oh. When you pause the game, this shows up your powers. Your upgrades. It includes melee... And smoke, smoke dash, vent dash, everything. If you press L2, they, they will show your, your analysis. Your psych profile, level 1, protector. You need to collect shards so that you can upgrade. And also, let's check the details. Power infused physical attacks for close quarter combat. Dash circle toward an enemy and quickly melee square for a sweeping attack. Scatter and overpower enemies with explosive attacks and surprising mobility. Press circle to transform into a fast moving cloud of smoke. Useful for closing in on isolated enemies or escaping combat or cover. Passes through fences and other obstacles. Smoke dash into a red air vent to take a shortcut to rooftop level. Using, useful for escaping pursuit or gaining the high ground. We'll wrap it up for now. Okay, folks. That is it for part one. I'll see you in part two. See you then.